Hey guys, this is Dr. Din again. Uh, this is one of our other videos that we're going to be presenting to you on cardiac ultrasound today. Um, so this is definitely one of my most favorite types of scans that I like to do. Um, you can really assess for heart function, valve function, um, any type of gross abnormalities. Okay. So what's different with the cardiac ultrasound that we're going to be using today that you're going to learn how to use is this other probe here. It's called the phase array probe. And that's just a fancy term for a probe that branches out, you're going to see like a V-shaped view on the, uh, on the screen, which I'll show you in a little bit. And the other thing is that it's a really low frequency probe, so you can actually penetrate a lot deeper. So any structures like abdomen, kidneys, heart, you really want to really want to, want to use this phase array probe, okay? So before we start scanning, however, we're going to really try to optimize the patient position. All right, so first thing is you're going to undrape the patient from the left side, all right, okay? And we're going to teach you a few different views. And it's really important to kind of know your anatomy. So the first view we're going to teach you is called the parasternal view. And it's both going to be in a long axis and a short axis, which I'll explain in a bit. But for the parasternal view, you're going to have the probe parasternal right next to the sternum. So the sternum is right here. Parasternal is right here. You're going to have it right at the nipple line. So that's going to be your starting point. And your probe is actually going to angle at 45 degrees because that's the direction of the heart. Okay? And then we're going to move over here um, to the PMI. And we're going to actually look at the apical cham four-chamber view. And we'll show you what that looks like. And we're going to end off what's called a sub-xiphoid view, where you put the probe down here and you actually go through the liver and see the heart over here. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually, we're actually going to put the patient in the left lateral DQ position to optimize our views. So we're going to have the patient lie, lean over. Okay? So when you have a chance, you always try to get the patient in this position. Okay? And you're going to use the ultrasound probe, the indicator is going to go towards the left hip, and you're going to get a parasternal long axis view. Okay, so this is a good parasternal long axis view. You see, the first structure you'll see most anteriorly is the right ventricle. You, also, you can also see the left ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricular outflow tract, as well as the aortic valve and the mitral valve. And lastly, you want to see the descending aorta. And below the heart is actually lung. And that's why you don't see great image under there because lung is diffracting all the ultrasound waves. So this is a parasternal long axis view. So now I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to get a parasternal short axis view. So in this view, you can actually see the left ventricle in cross section, um, which is on the screen right now. And what we're seeing right now is the mitral valve. See how it looks like a fish mouth? That's called the mitral valve. Okay, and if you, scroll, if you scan down a little bit lower, you start seeing papillary muscles. Okay? And if you scan up more, past the mitral valve, you see his aortic valve. There, okay? And how I like to look for the PMI is actually scanned on the short axis view, and I keep scanning down until I don't see heart anymore, and I know that's where the apex is, and I tilt it down to get what we call the apical four chamber view, right here. In the apical four chamber view, you have left ventricle, right ventricle, left atrium, right atrium, mitral valve, and tricuspid valve. All right? And the very last view that we're going to look for is called the sub xiphoid view. So we're going to have the patient lie supine now. Okay? And the indicator is going to be towards the patient's right. Okay? So you're going to push down here, and you really want to start on the patient's right side because you don't want to go through bowel gas to see the heart. You want to actually go through the liver, and you will get a much better image. So in this view right here, you can actually see that. The first structure I see is liver, and then after that, you can see a uh, right ventricle, right atrium, left ventricle, and then left atrium. I'm going to increase my depth a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay. And as well, you can see all the valves also. You can see the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve in here. All right. And if I actually go towards his left a little bit more, you can see how much harder it is to see the heart. So right here, I'm going through through bowel gas, and you can see that the heart doesn't see, you can't see the heart as well, versus when I go through the liver, 
It's a lot easier to see. Okay, and that's how I look for all the four views of the cardiac ultrasound exam.